Cassidy Lush has been learning songs in her ancestral Mi'kmaq language since she was a little girl. So CBC is giving her a special assignment. I interviewed Jeremy Dutcher. Are you nervous? Um, a little bit, but at the same time, I'm super excited. He's a really big inspiration to me. Dutcher is a member of the Tabik First Nation in New Brunswick and one of only about a hundred speakers of the Wallastaway language. His debut album fuses traditional songs with classical, jazz, and other modern musical styles. He's won the Polaris Prize, a Juno Award, and international acclaim. Hi! Nice to, nice to meet you too. But this morning, he has an audience of one. You're such a big inspiration to me because of how you don't only sing in your in your in your language, but you also sing classically and chorally. And it, it's one one day I would like to be as well known and as 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 good as you at what you do. It's it's not just about for me ever. Uh, you know, popularity or like how many records I sell, you know, it's about like the kinds of messages that you can get out into the world while people are still listening. Our songs and our languages, there's so much embedded within them. And so it's, it's, it's really critical that, that our young people, you know, we keep it, keep it alive. Yeah. And pass it down. To, from generation to generation so that it can always be there. I don't want our, our cultures to be lost. You know, that's so important and it's so critical right now, you know. Uh, Mi'kmaq language is really, you know, there's, there's a really strong push. You know, they have immersion schools and stuff, but in my, in, in my Wolustigwe language, there's less than 100 fluent speakers left. Yeah. So it's like really critical right now in this moment that, you know, we are uh, keeping that language strong because it's it's our worldview, it's, it's, it's who we are as people, it's, it's carried through our language. Dutcher performs tonight in St. John's as part of the Spirit Song Festival, then he's back on the road for shows in Corner Brook and Happy Valley Goose Bay. And the trail that Dutcher is blazing, young people like Cassidy aim to follow. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, St. John's.